So guys, welcome back to another video on the Traders on the series. I'm Mr. Success Sugbana, your host on this Traders journey. So guys, it's been an amazing ride and journey with you guys thus far, right? And if you're just watching my video for the very first time, please ensure to subscribe to this channel, turn on notification, give this video a thumbs up, and leave me a comment because I am sure by the end of this video, there'll be so much value for you to take on, right? Because this, this is just the culture here value 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 is just language i speak on this channel so for, for a lot of you guys who have been tweeting right uh this written recent times haven't been the best of times for traders right a lot of traders are pack a lot of i've seen a lot of traders pack it up i've seen a lot of traders just confused not so clear begin to wonder is am i really called to be a trader begin to question the whole dynamics the whole reason why you joined this industry but then the thing is like I would always see, right? Like I would always see, uh, the market uh, would always respect respect its cycle, right? Would always respect its cycle. And this some of this, some of these market cycles, what I've broken down for you for free in my books, right? In my in this my book, uh, the technical playbook for forex traders from Q1 to Q4, right? So this technical playbook shows you how the market behaves. In each of in in, in in each in each quarter of the year, so this this full knowledge will help you prepare to help you better prepare for the uh, discrepancies or the the, the changes in the in, in the dynamics and in the flow of the market. It will help you uh, make uh, uh, more immediate. Uh, adjustments to accommodate these fluctuations, these changes, these uncertainties, right? That could that come with this, with each of these market quarters, right? So, 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 so a lot of my students have had this, know this way that I keep them updated with these flows, right? But then it's pretty sad. A lot of you guys have been trying to face the mark market all, uh, all on yourself, right? All by yourself and trying to trying to figure out what is going on. Your profit today, tomorrow you're losing everything. Your profit next tomorrow, a few days down the line, you are back on drawdown, back on blowing account, back on back out, back there in the streets looking for the next deposits to make. Right? I'll, I'll just give it a little tidbit on what uh, on the way forward, going forward, the current market behavior and all. Right? Well, I'll just say it's simple. Right? You need to hold one of the things you must understand or respect more than anything else in this time of the uh, in this time in the market is risk management right you have to your risk management needs to be top notch right for you to survive the current market wave your risk man your risk management has to be top notch right and also you must this, this is no longer this is non-negotiable you must trade less right you must trade less so if you're that kind of trader is always looking for opportunity buy sell buy every now and then so by now you should be in the in, in the trenches right by now you should be in trenches that's the truth right because um this this particular season of the market right uh is so unique right it's so unique that if you're still so, so that newbies or anyone still struggling to have a proper understanding of risk management would not be able to, cannot survive, not even will not cannot survive the current market wave. Right? And I think the part of the Forex Mastery course, right? But those of you who've gotten my, my course, the Forex Mastery course, I think I did justice to risk management. I think that should be moved to seven of the course, right? I talked about risk management properly. I broke down I, I made two different videos on risk management, right? How to properly properly set up your uh um, carry out risk management on each on any kind of account size irrespective of your account size how to properly properly risk take risk in the market and have to actually actually edge out of the market right so for again if you have been if if uh you've, you're yet to get a copy your to get my books right you're yet to get my books for traders right some of my books include the technical uh playbook for forex traders from q1 to q4 which is what i'm emphatic on we have the other one the trader psychology bible we have the other one again price and time we have another one price and news analysis these four books are specifically for traders 
So if there's anything, anything you must do for yourself, any investment you must do for yourself in this season, is to invest, invest in knowledge, invest in knowledge, right? So while the market is doing what it's doing, take your time, take, take some break and go sit down and grind in knowledge, right? Go sit down and grind in knowledge, right? Grind in knowledge to up your game. Right? So, so this is not a season to be recklessly, not necessarily recklessly, but to be so active, actively involved in the market. It's not a season for that, right? So the, but personally, the few tweets I've, I can count the number of tweets I've taken since this month. The month of August, I almost didn't take any tweets. It is all very intentional, and I made you guys understand that. I showed you guys why. You guys, who have been following me here, you, you, a lot of you guys know why I've been very slow on the market. It's because the coin market wave is just like that, and those who don't have this full knowledge, I've heard a lot of persons saying August was the worst month for them. A lot of persons saying the market is crazy, blah blah blah. A lot of crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, reports across in the market, right? Across uh, a lot of traders, right? A lot of traders giving some really crazy feedbacks on the market lately. This is simply because see, there is need to understand what co what wave the market, is, what quarter you are in the market, and the current wave of the market. So this will help you know what to cook, right? How to cook for yourself and for your community as 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 a trader, as a top trader. I'm saying this emphatically too, because I want to assume I'm talking to both newbies and I'm also talking to some pro traders who also have their own communities, right? So now, um, again, I was, you can also always, always make use of the description sessions and to send me a message. My WhatsApp contact is there. My, my email is there to send me a message requesting to sign up for any of my courses, either the Forest Master course, the Crypto Master course. Synthetics master master course for traders, right? Right for traders. Now again, I'll be coming back to the to the uh, to the discourse of the day, right? Proper, right? Today we'll be looking at just the simple opportunities the market has to offer for to us this week, right? What opportunities are the market squeeze market cooking? What should you be doing in the market this week? Because that's why I always come here every Monday to show you guys what to expect from the market each trading week. But what to expect from the market each trading week? Now this is the X one. Now uh, I'm a, for two weeks now. Only we say this should be the third week that we've been here since price has gone to this support level. And I told you guys something that I'm gonna talk my, in my last video. I told you guys something that yes, we are currently sitting on the support level. The X one is sitting on a good support level, as everyone can see. It's clear. It's clear to the blind, right? Even the clear blind can see that. The XY is sitting on a clear support level, but for it to bounce, the bounce from this level is not something that will be so easy, right? It will take a lot of time because once, once it, this is this is one crazy thing about the market. But every time price sits on a major zone, right? It it tries to make sure it clears a lot of uh, impatient traders. Yes, that's the word. A lot of traders who are not so patient, who are always in a hurry. It clears them, takes takes them out of the system completely before it starts to move in. Also, for for so this is why I personally I'm, I've had my hands folded. I've been busy or attending attending to other engagements than just the market than trading. So you've noticed for the for the longest of times, you've hardly seen me post a post any charts over on my social media handles. Post a chart or talk about what the market is because the market is not if it's not ready, it is not ready. Right, that uh, so uh, this man will say we can uh, ex uh, the current minister uh, of the, of the FCT will say if it's if it's didn't day, it's didn't day. That's the truth. If the market is not ready, it's not ready. There's nothing you can do about it. So don't don't try to assume for the market. Don't try to force it on the market. Don't try to force. <laughs> don't try to predict the market. That's the word. Don't try to predict that that is bouncing. No, wait, wait to see it happen before you strike. But if it is not happening, don't strike. Wait to see it happen. That's the word. Wait to see it happen. All right? So this is the extra from the daily time frame. Last week we put out this trend, we put out this trend line. 
So we all know clearly that the xy has been on a long range for the longest of time. Right, the xy has been on a very long range. This is the range. Clearly, clearly range. This is a very long range. And this, we are currently sitting on this level. And this is the level we've come before we bounce. We've come before we bounce. We, did, we got there, we bounce. We got, now we are there again. The bounce is very much expected to happen from here. Very much expected to happen. Right? Except 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 for if except if it would accept for any on because i don't see us dollar like getting weaker than this now uh, anything below this level might spare some serious doom for the us dollar and i trust the us government not to want this to happen to them to their dollar because this is because you know a currency index reflects the strength of a country's economy All right so the us the us for once with their ego, right? The US for once with their ego, who wants the dollar to go any weaker than this? That's the truth. Right? This is the least this is the least uh uh weakness the dollar has experienced since uh twenty January twenty twenty three. Uh, this is the least weakness that has experienced in January twenty twenty three. So it's they don't they can't they can't afford to have it on around this level, below this level. They can't afford to have have you see the US dollar go below this level so our job is simple right oh yes we know this for sure yes but wait to see that this guy is actually committing to the upward movement wait to see that the market is actually committing let the market commit that's the word wait for the market to actually commit before you do anything all right so this is the X Y. This is a clear range. We've got we, we got here. We, but prices, mind, mind you, we are down. We are down on a major support level, a major support zone, right, which is around this level, as you can see. So price is going to be more like a range. If, if it's easier to want to box this guy from here and say, okay, well, the X Y. If you in all you're doing, come and break this box first before we take you seriously. Right, it's easier to say this okay. There, so I come and break this box. Right, personally, I would want I rather wait for it straight to see that happen. Right, so this is uh, okay. We came here, we bounced, we went to the upside, we came back down more like we tested this area again. We went back up to this point. Now we could come back to this point. So it is only nature for us to expect that this guy will bounce to the upside. Right, that this guy will bounce to the upside, although the momentum. I know someone want to use the, the moment the, the, the um, momentum theorem for me and this guy okay momentum is a down thread this guy is going to be down but you need to also consider that price is actually sitting on the major zone major support zone so these zones are not zones that you just break press can just break as it likes but it takes a lot of strong fundamental fundamental backups to nullify or annul or to go against these zones not to break out of these zones Right, so we want to see what happens from here. But what the drama going on around there is something you I advise you what you cross your hand to watch. Right, cross your hand to watch how things unfold. Right, so you can choose to play the range from here. You want to buy to the top side, bring it down again. So there's a breakout to the upside, which 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 is where I want to see price actually breaking the upside. Right, so you can see from the four hours, you know that okay, device the exercise already is committing that okay, it wants to, but the buyers want to go take price up from here. This this is on the XY, right? So this is just on the XY. So currently, we are still we are still ex we are still waiting, right? Still waiting to see that price bounces from this zone from this zone and give us that big big move. So to, for us to really for price to to show commitment that is actually we're actually on a bullish one but we need to see price breaking up uh, breaking up uh, above this trend line i uh, need to see price breaking above this trend line that's been uh, around here right we need to see price breaking above the trend line that's been played up around above here thank right, uh give me a second guys let me fix something So guys, that's just my this is my view on the XY. This is my view on the XY. So let us see what happens going forward from here. 
find out we are in a very very slick we are on a, we are on a very serious zone and definitely this, this is going to bounce to the upside, upside that is that is clear for me except for any other uh wheezing strong wheezing any strong wheeze that might take us any lower but i don't see that happening actually with the u.s elections coming up soon i don't see that happening i don't see price coming that low any lower than any low below the 100 uh 100 points right so this is the next one which is uh jpy baskets so what's going on with jpy baskets like i told you guys this dude this dude this dude this dude is is sharp so you can see i think from here i'll be waiting to see some more commitment from the sellers on on jpy basket so this is jpy basket remember what i told you guys that this guy you need to go grab liquidity from, from around here so i think we are there already maybe we're not there yet but we are actually there around the we're just around there already so let's see what happens from here we'll enter this area so i just want to go a little further off from here we can start building down from here so this is the boy basket guys let's see this is the boy basket and it's, it's getting ripe it's getting ripe it's getting ripe right it says it's getting ripe on JPY basket, which is, you know what I mean. For those of you who know how I've been quiet um, about JPY pace, you know why I've been quiet about, about JPY pace because this dude wasn't ready at the time. But now it's looking like, okay, we are there. We are, we are, we are, we are it's looking like we're getting there already. So for now, what I'm going to do is, okay, is to be a little more patient to see how we kick our things, kick starts, kick starts from here. That was that was what I'm I'm gonna wait to see, right? So this is Euro, this is Euro USD, the real the real market itself. Then you can Euro USD from the weekly time frame, so I show you see clearly. So this Euro USD still around, still playing the range, right? Still, still playing the range from around, playing the range from the weekly time frame. You can see that. So the setups not so clear, not the not not maybe or maybe not the best setup you would want to see. Come here, let me see something. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to confirm something. Something, something I saw. Give me a second, guys. Okay, if this is it, this is okay. Okay, 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 okay. This is true. This is true. So, okay. Oh man, okay. This is supposed to drop actually. Okay, that's why I need to confirm something, guys. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Just confirmed something, 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 something. All right. <clears throat> okay, okay. We're right there. All right. So guys, so this is it. This is the X Y. We are going to continue on this range. So definitely a drop on Euro USD. I mean this Euro USD. So currently the range just trying to market is just trying to play with a lot of the the, the emotions of a lot of people in the market. So that's what is going on around here. Now somebody somebody might say, okay, we are forming higher highs, higher low. This is this is the first low, the second low, third low, this is the next low. We want to we might want to think that we want to go and form another high, but I don't see I don't think that is what is going to happen. Right, I just maybe price might just go a little too high. Maybe grab some liquidity from those who have been selling, close some shorts. People, some things who have been on who have been selling before, stop them out before we see the proper drops. But for now, the bulls are looking strong in the market currently, just straight based on the current move. The trend is showing bulls, I know the but based on structure. Hmm. Come let me see if I can make sense out of this. This is gonna make sense to in any way. So for some of you who have been following me, just watch and see. All right, just watch and see. So this can be a bearish flag monkey bearish flag that might continue my mean he might 
come back down here to break it to the upside. Hmm. We might just come back down here. Let me see something. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Then, then the drop to the downside. This is also possible. Uh, come. It's also possible that my just come from down, break down, bleed down from here going forward. Maybe you want to take it. Hmm. It's a, it's, a, it's a crazy outlook. I know it is a crazy outlook, but I think it's something to watch out for. Something to this one from the four hour time frame. So it's something to watch out for on Euro USD. So my just bleed down to the downside to this area and all, but my still bleed to the upside depends. All right, it depends on just what the market really wants to do. Based on what the market would want to do clearly for me. So I just want to leave this for reference sake. Right, I'm, I'm just gonna leave this for reference sake. So maybe hopefully by next week, a lot of this will make clearer to a lot of you guys. But with this momentum, just from for me, it, with this momentum we are seeing about with, the, with this candle, this kind of momentum, it's possible for it to bleed down, but it's also possible for it to build build to the upside, build to the upside, clear liquidity before any form it give us maybe form a clear double top. Before anything, right? It's also possible for this to happen. So for now, we just I know that your US is gonna drop. It's gonna drop massively. It's gonna be a massive drop, a long drop. But it's something with, that it's not something that we, we, we it's not something that would you would need to rush for you to experience. So you need to you need to give the market some space to do what it needs to do. All right. So currently we are just on the crazy, just save the quality range. All right. Maybe save the quality range, but let's just let's just keep hands crossed as the market does what it needs, what what it wants. To do. So this is um, GBUSD, all right, GBUSD, remember when we, this dude had been bearish for the longest of time for the weekly time frame, so broken this trend, long trend, trend zones, we've been broke, broken it, and now we are here, all right, we are just around this same area where we've been before, if you want to use maybe, uh, this to represent capture anything which also no I don't think I don't see what scale I was looking for. No, okay, let me just check this off. Alright guys, um so this is this is uh GU from the weekly time from so this clearly shows you that for the from, since for the for the past four months, the market is not just making sense. This is just what it means, All right? So the past one month, this is dodgy, dodgy, just market just doing a thing. So if you're, when you're asking why such success has been away from the market, so this is why I've been away from the market, All right? Market looks as well at the point you look as well is selling for no buyers to come. Look as well is buying for no sellers to come. So this on um, this. Inconsistency, at uh, least the fact that the market has been inconsistent is just what why I've been away. Why it looks as though success is not success is no longer dropping charge, no longer like feeding is feeding us with, with storms with charts with activities in the market. The mind the market is already me too. I will like create drama when there is no drama, <laughs> right? right? So that's why I've just been on the fence, just been there, just watching the market doing what it's, what it's doing, right? Just been watching the market doing what it's doing, right? So this is on uh this is GBUSD nothing clear, nothing sure, right? Nothing is certain, nothing certain on it. Right, except maybe the sim similar what similar to what we are seeing we saw on uh maybe U Euro USD. Maybe you want to say okay, we have this, we have this. 
right? Uh, I mean, that's just what that is just the only thing you can see, 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 or say about this dude. So, you see, that's just all that's just all there is to say about GU right now. Just looking, just giving us that euro, euro, euro USD vibes. So, this thing is the vibe was called broken. So, let me just remove this. I think it's better to keep it like this. Let's keep it like this. So we watch and see what happens. Watch and see what really, really, really happens. Coming, coming. Sorry. So this is just what you is saying. So it's just for us to watch and see how things really un un unveil themselves on in the market this week. So if this is going to sell, then I will want to catch it. And I'll show you share with, with my community that okay, this is what this is why I'm catching this. So um the next is AUDUSD, not the way I like to do it. All right. So this guy is be is the of all the peers we've been trading, we'll be looking at this the most troublesome, the most dramatic. This one is just drama all through for the for the longest of time. Sometimes I mean this guy been in, in some serious drama mood. So since sorry, let me go back to the little time frame. So this is the trend. This is a trend on AUDUSD. So we've been on a range straight on a straight line. Does market moving sideways? So sideways movement, right? So market came towards this trend line, looking as well as doing going back down, but then looking looking like it's going to go back to do what to do what I don't know what it wants to go and do, right? So this is let's see if we can from the daily time frame. Obviously, obviously this is a clear crazy crazy range. Okay, crazy range. So price seems to work. You want to go back up, maybe to properly test the trend line before it drops. But for now, there's nothing, nothing does nothing to say about GU. I mean AUDUSD, I mean. Right. At the time it looked as though we had maybe a head and shoulder, we want to bleed down, but that's what happened next. Michael refuted that move and is doing what it wants to do. But if I if we had to also look at this guy, this 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 guy from as a trend from here, you see that this what so similar to what happened to GU. More like a break retest and so it's just going to the upside. That's EDUSD. Oh, this so this is it. So this is AD USD. Like okay, or uh, although we've not cleared this this low, I'm sorry, this high has not been cleared. As the thing is, this high has not been cleared. Although from this low here, and it's just for our time frame anyway. So let me go back to the phone. <laughs> looking look at this for our time frame, I would just be I would just be giving too many hypotheses. But then just go down to the daily time frame where it's a lot easier to look at the market from. So for now, it's just nothing. Is not, there's nothing really clear. Uh, nothing really clear. Nothing really there to see for now. But the fact that the market is okay, we came back down. We right. We're trying to go back up. Maybe we test this area again, or to rally above it. Whatever the market wants to do, it's not clear. Right. So, so if I'm, I'm not the kind of trader that will be trading the market, market to buy it to sell. I try to be as clear. I like, to, as, I like to stay true to you guys because I know I am committed to making sure you guys are doing this thing right and also that you guys are getting the real gist in the market. So on the US, there is nothing, nothing is nothing is just clear on the USD right now. Right? Nothing is just clear on the USD like right now. I can't see anything, I can't see anything really sitting, but the fact that okay, it needs to clear this area. 
you need to clear this area first. So if it does not clear it, if it clears it there definitely, I'll come back to test this grade level. If it, if not, so my dust bounce from here. My dust bounce from here go and drop down. Right? My dust go for a bounce from here and this shoulder, this right shoulder here, then you're testing it then to drop down. So for now, this just this just my view on EDUSD. Trust my view on it. Then my honest view anyways on EDUSD. So for now, I just want to just stay, stay put and watch how, to see how things are unveiled. So New Zealand USD is the same thing as ADUSD. You remember when I uploaded this trend line on New Zealand USD? I remember putting this trend line for you guys from here. Last week we were here and I told you guys, okay, this is an area to watch out for. This time I want to show some drama to shoot to the upside, but and really it's it's looking like okay, it wants to go, but let's see. Can it sustain the, uh, the thing is, can it sustain that move? Right? Can it sustain that move? Can it really, really sustain that move? Can it really, really sustain the move to the upside? Right? Can it really sustain the move to the upside? Because I personally would want to think that this guy might, uh, my highest go to this uh, green level or test his uh, right shoulder before. Then to then drops down, right? Because one that's one simple rule. Because once price is testing the level consistently, it means breaking it might be imminent. So it we didn't have any reason. We came test it, came again recently test it. We are still testing the same as in the shortest period. And that's that uh, it's a trick actually. If you are testing a level oh, uh, frequently within the shortest period, you are more likely going to break it. It's like when you when you but but if I hit it if I hit it well, just like when you're trying to break uh uh oh let me say you have you have a hammer let me use what a hammer and you have a well, let me say you say what hammer let me use uh let me use a hammer and you maybe you're trying to smash or break something let me smash a metal let me use the word smash a metal so you smash it once boom, and you waited for a long time again. And smash it again, man. You might never be able to break that 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 metal. But if you are if you are, if you are smashing it within the shortest period, bang, 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 you notice that you 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 gain more. You are more likely going to break that metal because you, the time interval the interval the time interval to which you are smashing you are hitting that metal is short. So you are more likely going to break it. So that's what happens to this twenty nine two. So you hit it, you hit it, you hit it within the shortest time. So that's more likely that the next it might just break it right the next might just break it and this guy is begin this guy begins to bleed down and then we get the gist so that's just the whole because smoke a lot of times michael just gives us that real life um pains are real life story to us just for us to get to see and understand um some of these things in real time right so that's just my view on news languages i think right if all things if all things we need to respect to the xy if the XY play behaves the way it should, then this guy should bleed massively going forward, right? So, uh, USD chef it's not it's one pair that I'm not I'm, I'm not I'm not I've not really been looking at for any long in a long while, All right? So, one pair I'm not been looking at for any long while. Well, let's check Canadian dollar, uh, the Canadian dollar, okay. So that's been holding this was only this was one pair I traded recently. Recent, one of the but I caught uh, I took some profits, a few profits, and caught some that don't break even. Right, trust a recent one. Of, I posted that that trade anyway. I'm not sure I should post it on my Facebook or where I think that might be, be just my WhatsApp. Right, so this is JPY. This is USA JPY. Right, this is USA JPY. Remember this area we played last week. We are showing that this is, uh, this is this is this is an area for potential reversal and all that, right? So if everything being equal, if all things uh, happen like they should, this uh, claim might still be true, right? Now this guy would bounce from it. Might still happen. Might still happen. 
it works with jeep where basket behaves the way it wants to be it needs to behave and and do and the x will behave the way it should behave then we might see that bounce happen we might just see that bounce happen but for now all right for now we keep watching it to keep seeing watching what how the market behaves and how things unveil in the market so for me i want to see a clear reversal pattern before i take any action on USD JPY. It's more this it's more like the only JPY pair I'm likely gonna tweet. Um, I need to see that unique that um I need to see a clear pattern, a clear chart pattern, a clear reversal pattern for me to take it seriously. So for some of you what I mean what do I mean by reversal patterns? I know that most do three of the forest mastery course did justice to that again. This way you need to get the course, right? And if you if you, if you if you're following me, you're enjoying what you're watching, you're enjoying what you're seeing, please ensure make sure you're subscribed if you subscribe to this channel and ensure you and share this video why right? share with this video with your friends with your colleagues or also traders like you right and try to find their foot and share this video with them but this UN GBJPY uh see the same you no know, since this that still having the same lack of clarity this is Euro JPY right so the only guy I'm actually interested in is on is US JPY actually it's Canadian JPY, so there's nothing really interesting here to see. So this got good. This got good. Let me clear all this. So this is gold. This is gold. Is gold. Come here. Let me see something. Hmm. So this is gold, guys, and gold has been crazily bullish. 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 Gold has been crazily, crazily, crazily bullish. Crazily bullish, right? Remember when I, when I told you guys something like the gold as at last, I think sometime last week when gold was playing this range, and I told you guys to just cage it, cage gold and see what happens, right? What whatever it does, what, whatever it wants to do, to follow it up. So this is gold. Uh, clearly we've broken out of this cage. Clearly we've broken out of it and price seems to be going higher, 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 higher on gold, right? But it's not an easy catch anyways. I must say it's, it's not been an easy catch on gold. It's not an easy peer to trade. It's not, because it's not an easy asset to trade. Uh, you need to have your you need to have a tough really tough skin to trade gold. Because this guy can in one minute take you to heaven and the next minute she takes you back to it takes you to hell. What is worse than hell? So I barely trade gold myself. I just I try to analyze it for a lot of you guys who are fun, who are gold diggers or gold traders. Right, so gold quantity is bullish. So this is just a very sharp move to the upside. So I feel you don't wait for, for those pullbacks down for you to take up gold. Right? You want to wait to see those pullbacks down so you can take gold up, take up gold. So for now, if you're not there, you're not there. So it means the, it means the boat has left you. Right? So the next guy I want to look at is maybe US 30, right? US 30. So, right, US 30 and uh so US 30 is just has been on the move to the upside for the longest of times and currently still there's not the crazy range. This guy is still bullish, right? With the obvious crazy range, it is still very much bullish. Very, very much bullish. Very, very much bullish. Very, 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 very much bullish. Very, very much bullish. Very much bullish. Right, this was a crazy range, but for me, that must be looking like there's a rejection. Looking like there's a rejection. 
uh, I don't want to say much about this. Maybe hopefully by next by next video, I'll try to say more on US taxi and US and NAS hundred. Over my next video, I'll try to give share some some highlights with you guys, guys on their structure and what to expect from them going forward. So I don't want to I don't want to do to say much. Look at them so so much right now. So let me just leave them. The next video I'll try to talk about them properly. So let me look at BTC. All right, so BTC, we are still playing this. Uh, uh, we are still playing around this area. Now this is my area, so that's nothing new, nothing old, nothing new. Just the market, right? It's doing what it's doing, playing this, playing the same old range, old, the same old games. Uh, as Tony people, traders a little of traders emotions, playing a little of traders emotions, taking out the weak traders, taking out the weak traders from the system and all, right? And uh, Come here, let me see. <laughs> I know some of the people wondering why I'm out of just him. Any smart, I'm just plotting trend lines. Why are you I'm just saying things? Something might be up soon, guys. Something might be up soon. That's just what I have to say to you guys. Something might be up soon. Something might be up soon. My guy might, might just be done cooking what it has been trying to cook since. Might just be done cooking what it has been trying to cook since. So something might be up soon. So uh that was what I've I'll be telling you guys for you. That's also what I'll be telling you guys right now. Something might be up soon. So your job is again is simple position, right? Some of your boss coins, some of your best coins are sleeping currently, are not moving like as they should. It's your best chance to activate them. I'm shouting, sounding this and shouting this like the way I did in 2022. And so a lot of you guys miss Solana. Now you might be missing out on some other gems I don't want to mention, but they are all on the list on the bull on spreadsheet. So if you don't if you don't have the bull on spreadsheet, I don't know what to say to you. Ensure to get it. With just fifty dollars, you can get the bull on spreadsheet to uh, to to start uh to help yourself to help you get the best gems to position. For the bottom, because it was at no matter what no matter how the market what the market is doing right now, we are st still still around the bottom. Now we're still around the bottom. Just some market just waiting for some triggers, so to take up, right? So again, guys, um, if you've not subscribed to this channel, please ensure to subscribe to this channel. Like I said before, I'm just gonna be looking at those pointers I gave you guys on EU and GU. Why on JPYPS US JPY? I'm looking I'm looking at this closely. So we might be taking some tweets soon. I'm not saying that now. We might be taking some tweets, some tweets soon. So your job is simple again. Observe, observe more. Watch. Don't be, don't be this. Uh, don't be, don't FOMO. Yes, yeah, that's what. Don't, don't FOMO and jump into a premature setup. Why right? don't FOMO and jump into the market into a premature setup? Be sure. See the green. Let the market show you but serious green light. Let the, let the green light. Be so bright that it wants to blind your eye before you enter this period. You don't want to take chances, right? So again, it's my time again. Uh, I think that's let me, let me say this. There's the we I actually have a series I'm doing currently. We will go over my what each of my books together and we get to share amazing insights on my books. So the, for last week we looked at the four cardinals of money. That was a book we finished and we had an amazing time, a great amount of Saturday evening with some some person. So for this week. We are looking at price and time. So on Saturday evening again, we'll be looking at we'll be, we'll be digging deep on price and time, being able to pinpoint some key points. Right? So if you're not going to book price and time, please do. For those who have gotten it, I'll be sending you guys a link so you guys can join the community where we review these books. Where where, where we, we will we will be reviewing these books, right? So again, for those of you who have, who have yet to get your the copy your, your copy of the book on price and time, please ensure you do so, right? Ensure you do so, please ensure you do so, so you can be a so you can join us this Saturday evening by 8 p.m. where we get to discuss extensively some of the key points, some of the pointers, some of the keys you need to make the best uh, out of the market using the knowledge on price and time, right? So, guys, I'll be seeing you guys same time next week. So, we'll see how the market has evolved, how the market has played out for us. See you guys.